What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another year of NHL Stanley Cup predictions. I do this video every single year and I make a video for every round of the Stanley Cup playoffs. So honestly, round one has already started and I do apologize. The past couple weeks I've been dealing with a lot of stuff and it's just been very hard to sit down to record videos. Now, some of the game ones have already taken place and we already know the outcomes of them as I'm recording this. Thank you guys for all of your patience, but let's get into today's predictions for the first round of the NHL playoffs. First up, the Washington Capitals versus the Boston Bruins. You guys know if you have guys been here for years watching my Stanley Cup playoff predictions, I usually predict that the Boston Bruins are going to get eliminated the first time. However, last year I think it was that they advanced very far and I lost every single prediction. When I predicted they'd get eliminated, they would advance. I know Ovechkin's on the Capitals. I know I usually would have chose the Capitals, but I'm honestly going to say 4-3 right down to the final game for the Boston Bruins final prediction. Next up is the Carolina Hurricanes versus the Nashville Predators. I honestly see this one going either way. If you guys asked me a few years back, I would have said Nashville Predators hands down. Now, Nashville Predators do have a lot of great players. I love their lineups. However, I love Carolina Hurricanes lineups a little bit more right now. I like that a few years ago, what would have been rookies now seem to be moving up into the all-star status, which I absolutely love. They also have Trocek, who I'm a fan of, and they have some pretty decent goalies. This one here, I honestly see going 4-2 for the Hurricanes. Next up is a matchup that I think is going to be very exciting to watch. That is Colorado Avalanche versus St. Louis Blues. St. Louis won the Stanley Cup a couple years ago for the first time. Colorado hasn't won since the 90s, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. So I honestly see this going to be very intense. And I believe the year that St. Louis won the Stanley Cup, I predicted that the Colorado Avalanche were going to win the Stanley Cup that year, and that did not happen. So that means, for me personally, this matchup is going to be very, very interesting, and I honestly can't wait to watch it. Now, I've always been a fan of Colorado, and I honestly see them advancing in this matchup. I think it's honestly going to come down to the final game, game seven once again, 4-3 for Colorado. Simply, I honestly want to see Nathan McKinnon win the Stanley Cup for the first time, and they do have a lot of other players that I'm very excited to see on the ice, and I honestly can't wait to see what happens for this matchup. Next up, we're getting into some of the Canadian teams, and I absolutely love this. Up first is Edmonton Oilers versus the Winnipeg Jets. This one here is going to be very, very interesting, like most of these matchups for me, but I honestly love this matchup here. Now, Winnipeg Jets are interesting. I do like them. However, I've always been more of a fan of Edmonton Oilers because of Connor McDavid. You guys know, you guys might be able to see some of the collection behind me here. I'm a huge fan of Connor McDavid. I love collecting him, and I'm a huge fan of him on the ice. And finally, I get to see him in the playoffs. It's been, I believe, a couple years since they've been in the playoffs, or maybe they got eliminated early on, and I just forget that. But I do want to see them advance, and I honestly think that's going to happen in this matchup here. Again, nothing against Winnipeg Jets, but I do feel like Edmonton Oilers are going to be a way stronger team going into this matchup, and I think so because I'm going to predict that it's going to be 4-0 for Edmonton Oilers. A clean sweep would be very exciting to see. Next up is two teams that a couple years ago, if you would have asked me, who do you like more? I would say absolutely neither one, and that is Toronto Maple Leafs versus Montreal Canadiens. Now, I still do not like Montreal Canadiens whatsoever, but Toronto is starting to grow on me as far as the team they have, the players that they have on their team. They've been doing pretty well this season and for a few seasons now, and I honestly think that they may advance, and I think it's going to be very interesting. They got a couple key veterans prior to the season start. They got a lot of players that I wasn't expecting to move to Toronto and be part of Toronto. And I'm very excited to see what happens because of it. Because in my opinion, there's a lot of all-stars and a lot of talents on Toronto right now. Toronto Maple Leafs have John Tavares. Austin Matthews, Joe Thornton, who I honestly never thought would leave San Jose, and this might be one of his last seasons because he's getting up there in age, and Wayne Simmons, who I'm a huge, 
huge fan of. Now, he didn't do so well this season. I think he only played 38 games and didn't score too much, but I've always been a fan of his. So with the amount of stars and great players that are on their team, I honestly see them advancing this matchup, and I think it's going to go 4-2. I think Montreal might put up a little bit of a fight, but I honestly feel like Toronto Maple Leafs are going to win in advance. 4-2 in this series. Next up is the Pittsburgh Penguins versus the New York Islanders. If you guys asked me about the Islanders a few years ago, I probably would have told you I didn't like them, but they've been growing on me. They've been changing their lineups, their roster, and they have a lot of great players right now. The Pittsburgh Penguins do have a lot of great players as well. They have Sidney Crosby, which is one of the best players in the league. But for this one here, as of right now, the Islanders already lead 1-0. I honestly feel like the Islanders are going to advance because they have one of my favorite players in the league, Pajot, and I honestly see him advancing, and I honestly see him scoring a lot more. He scored in the first game, which was amazing. I honestly see that continuing for him. This might be very risky, but I honestly see that it's going to be for the Islanders. 4-0 clean sweep. That might be very risky because there's Sidney Crosby on the Penguins, but that is my prediction for this matchup. Next up is Vegas Golden Knights versus Minnesota Wilds. This is going to be very exciting because Minnesota already leads 1-0. The first game went into overtime. Nobody scored the first three periods. In overtime, somebody finally scored for Wild, which was a very intense game. I absolutely loved it. Now, even though they're leading 1-0... I honestly feel like Vegas is still a very much stronger team. They have a lot of players since they started back in 2018. They've been strong. I believe I'm right on the year. Correct me if I'm wrong. But since then, they've been strong and they've been getting stronger. They have a lot of great goalies, a lot of great players they've acquired over the last few years. And this is the 15th season for Marc-Andre Fleury, making it in the playoffs as part of his team. And I think it's going to be very, very intense this year for that reason. He's getting up there in age. I think he has maybe a few more years left. And I really see him winning the Stanley Cup once again because he won it with part of the Penguins. But I want to see him win it with Vegas as well. That would be very epic in my opinion. For this matchup here, I honestly feel because of how strong I feel Vegas Golden Knights are and how much I absolutely love them, I think they're going to advance and I think it's going to be 4-2 for the Golden Knights. And the last matchup is going to be very interesting because we have two Florida teams and depending on the outcome of this one here, I think it's going to change the whole factor for the rest of the playoffs because there is a very strong team versus a not so strong team and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. That is the Florida Panthers versus Tampa Bay Lightning. Tampa Bay won the Stanley Cup last year which was incredible and I honestly see them advancing this year. However, I don't really want them to and I don't wish that they would. They are leading right now 1-0 and the first game was 6-5 for Tampa Bay Lightning. So Florida did put up a great fight. They had some great moments, but they just didn't manage to win the first game, which does suck, but I still feel like they can still make a big effort and they can get a win over Tampa Bay Lightning. If they do, I think that they might advance a little farther in the playoffs. If they don't, I think Tampa Bay might go down to the finals in my opinion. The Panthers, in my opinion, have a lot of great players and a lot of great goalies and I honestly want them to succeed and advance in this matchup. I'm going to say it's going to be right down to the final game and I think it's going to be going to the Panthers for three. I think if they're going to beat Tampa Bay Lightning, I think it's going to be right down and it's going to boil down to the last game. That is the only thing that I think is happening. Obviously, they can't get a clean sweep over them because Tampa Bay already has one win, but I honestly feel like they can't win four games in a row straight against Tampa Bay. I think they're going to win a few and then Tampa Bay is going to win. It's going to go back and forth until it's back to the seventh game where I hope Florida Panthers do win. That is my final prediction. So these are my NHL Stanley Cup playoff predictions for this year. I think it's going to be a lot of fun, a lot of intense hockey, and I honestly can't wait to watch because a lot of the matchups, for the most part, 
are going to be very nerve-wracking and a lot of suspense might happen and I honestly can't wait. It's a lot of great games ahead of us right now. Thank you guys for watching and thank you for all of your love and support. Please comment down below your playoff predictions for this year. Do you guys agree with mine or do you have your own? Let me know down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.